hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial it's my friend over here and today we are going to learn how to create this cool 3d vault animation from scratch inside of blender so let's go so we are going to start with our modeling let's open up blender and then let's hit on general to create our new file okay so let's select our light hit x and then delete it out and then let's focus on our default cube for now so first to start with our modeling we are going to model the empty vault and then we move on with other cool stuff along the way so let me select our vault hit tab to jump into edit mode and let's make sure we have our face select mode active you can select between the faces so we have face edge and then point select mode we can use the one two three to shuffle between these faces so make sure we have our face select mode active select this face and then we hit x and then we delete the face so that we have this hollow um, space inside like this next what we have to do is um fill it fill in this space so to do that let's make sure we go to our edge select mode by hitting two then we select this first edge hold shift and then select one two and then three so that we have all these four edges selected we hit e to extrude and then we hit s to extrude it inside like this so we extrude it inside a bit like this and then we hit e again then we extrude it on the x axis so we hit e and then x then we go inside like this and then we do e and then s once again to extrude it a bit like this and then we do e and then x and then we go inside like this right let's hit on our s3 mode so that we can see inside wireframe mode sorry so that we can see inside and then we can see how far the depth of how far the inside goes okay so we can come to this side and then we can do g and the x as this and then we move it down to, to right about here and then we can hit f to fill it up let's go back to our solid shading mode once again and then we see what we have here so we basically have a box with with the inside opened next let's add in some loop cuts and then we add in our subdivision surface so to add in our loop cut we do ctrl r for the loop cut tool and then we can just scroll our mouse wheel up or down to add in more loop cuts so first we are going to add three loop cuts here so we scroll our mouse one two three and then we hit, we just apply with our left click come to this side we add three and then we add three at this side as well right so next let's tap out of edit mode and then we can do ctrl 2 to add in a subdivision surface or we can come to here add modifier and then we look for a subdivision surface modifier right so once we add a subdivision surface we can right click and then shade it smooth so that we have this smooth shading let's jump into edit mode add few supporting loops just to straighten up the edges of our shape a bit so first we are going to add one supporting loop here so we do ctrl r and let's add and let's bring it closer to the edge just to sharpen up this edge let's do the same for here ctrl r then let's bring it here let's add one loop in the middle so we do ctrl r then we add one loop in the middle we commit it now we do ctrl b to bevel that loop so that we create two loop so one will sharpen this edge and then one will sharpen the other on this side so next let's add one loop sorry let me undo next let's add one loop in the middle inside and then let's bring it down like this so that we have let me tab out of edit mode so that we have this as our vault let's create some stand at the bottom then just to put our vault on top of so to create our stand we do ctrl a and then we add in a new cylinder let me click on to bring up this menu and then we want basically we want some like 16 vertices right and then we can decrease the radius to make it very small and then we can decrease the depth as well all right something like this okay so i'll go to my face x 
so right autographic view so that we look at it head on and then we hit on g and then we bring it down like this so i'm going to bring it down and then position it to the side right but before i do that let me just add in a few touches to make it more appealing so right click and then i'll shade it smooth and then i'll just hit on slash to focus on just this object here so we are going to want to add some few things here and there so first let's do control a let's do control a and then we apply our skill then hold alt and click to select this entire ring and then alt shift click to select this entire ring as well so let's do control b and then let's add in a bevel so let's increase the bevel to let's say three like this okay so we have something like this let's select this entire entire top parts okay so we can turn on this so that we select even things that are at the back and let's do hit s to scale it up like this okay so i have something like this let's jump out of edit mode hide our s review and then slash to bring everything back again okay so now we can position it right in the middle so let's hit on this z let's hit on it again to go to the top view and then let's do g let me bring it somewhere here okay so i have one here i'll do code shift d to duplicate now move one here shift d to and then i'll select the two and then i'll do shift d to duplicate and then i'll bring one here like this so i'll select all of them they're holding shift and then i'm going to join all of them into one one shape so i'll do ctrl j and then i'll join all of them into one shape let's double click and then name it as a stand okay so let's name this one as our vault yeah so we are done with our vault next we are let's so we are done with our vault let's let's move on to so so now we are done with our basic m vault let's add in the door to scale our gold coins okay so i'll select this door i select this shape jump into edit mode and then let's make sure we have our s let's mode active so we hit alt and then we click to select this entire loop here alt click to select this entire loop i'll do shift plus d to duplicate like this right click to commit it and then i'll hit on p and then we are going to separate it by selection right so now we have two two selections here this is the main one and then this is just the shape that we selected so i'll hit tab to jump out of edit mode and then i'll select this shape here double click and then name select the shape double click and then name it as a door right so that we have our door here so with it selected let's jump into edit mode right and then i'll hit on slash to isolate it okay so we, let's hit on a to select everything and then hit on f to fill it up all right next let's go into our point select mode and then we can see that each edge have like a couple of points three three at the top and then three at the bottom same as the left and then the right side so let's use our uh, our knife tool to join them together so i'll hit on k to bring up the knife tool just select and then select these two points here right click to continue with my selection i'll select right click and then i'll do the same for all of them like this so once i'm done i'll just hit on enter to commit my changes so that we have nicely joined and um, geometry so next let's let's extrude this face a bit in the in the in the x axis so we hit e to extrude and then we hit x so that we extrude it in the x axis like this let's do ctrl r and let's add in 
one loop cut in the middle we can do shift b to bevel that loop cut so that we create two extra loop cuts from that and then we can bring it back a bit like this to right click a tab to hit out of edit mode right click and then let's shade it smooth so we have this as our gate let's bring back all the elements by hitting on slash so we have everything back here so next next let's add in our door mechanism to do that we are going to bring our 3d gazer in front of our door here so to do that let's just hit on here to, to go to our right to graphic view and then we hold shift and then right click to bring our 3d gazer somewhere here right so we can do shift a and then let's add in a cylinder right to make sure we have our vertices set to 16 radius we can increase or decrease the radius however we want and then we hit on r y and then we hit 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the y axis let's do g and bring it forward a bit s and then scale it on the x y as on the x axis like this a bit so we can bring it somewhere here let's hit on slash to isolate it and then let's work on it individually right so what we have to do is right click and then we shade it as smooth but for, before we do that let's just add in some loop cuts so we do control r add in a loop cut in the middle control b and then we bevel this loop cut like this so that we have something like this going on for us so next what we are going to do is add in a subdivision modifier so i'll go to my modifiers tab and then i'll hit on subdivision to add in a sub d modifier i'll jump out of edit mode control a and then we apply our skill so jump into edit mode once again and then i'm going to hit on my face select mode select this face like this and then i'm going to add in some extrusion to it so first i'll do e and then s to extrude it down a bit like this i'll do e s extrude it once again e s and then i'll extrude it to somewhere here es let's so let's do es and then extrude it somewhere here es and then we extrude it even more like this okay and then let's select let's hold alt and then click to select all these phases and then we do i and then we insert in our face like this and then we are going to extrude it inside a bit to create a bit more intricate shape so we do alt e and then extrude and face along normals then we extrude it inside once again so we create something this nice like this and then we do the same for here alt click to select everything i and then we insert and then we do alt e alt e extrude phases along normals once again like this so once you are done right click and then we shade it smooth now we have something like this m going on for us i'll hit on slash to bring up everything so this is what we have you can select everything hit s to scale it down a bit like this right so next let's hit on a then we can add in a cylinder once again we hit r and rotate it on the y-axis 90 then let's scale it down and then we scale it on the x-axis so we do s we do s x and then we scale it on the x-axis like this okay something like this and then we can bring it out with our g and then we scale it on the x-axis we have something like this okay so this is where we are going to have our handle that we will use to open our, our our door of our vault so basically we apply we do the same thing we did for the other one so we hit slash and then we do control we tap into edit mode control r and then add in a loop cut control b bevel our loop cut and then we make sure we have our face select mode active and we do e sorry we do i to insert 
the face then we do i to insert again and then we do i to insert another face and then maybe i to insert again right so we hit alt and then click on this entire face and then we do i once again to insert alt e extrude you get the drill right now we do the same for here so we select everything i alt e and then alt e once again right so we won't worry much about this side since it's going to be hidden right click jump out of edit mode Control a and then we apply our scale and then we add in a subdivision surface modifier right click and then we shade it smooth so now we have something like this i'll hit my slash button to bring up all of um, my shapes again and lastly let's add in one last um cylinder 16 is fine the radius let's decrease the radius to something like this very thin and then let's increase the depth so that is very tall i think this is fine for me so we look at it from this side we just hit on g then we bring it somewhere here you can just do s to scale it down so we have something like this okay so this is going to be our handle next let's do ctrl a and then let's apply our scale jump into edit mode with this one right click and then we do basically repeat the same step we did so ctrl r now add in few loop cuts our commit alt click select this side and then i'll alt click and select this side again i'll do ctrl p to add in the bevel i'm going to increase the bevel to something like this so that we have smooth edges rounded edges at the top and bottom so i'll jump out of edit mode right click and then shade it smooth and then we add in the subdivision surface modifier right hit slash to bring back everything again and then let's create a duplicate of this shape here so first we are going to do shift d to create a duplicate and then we do r and then we are going to rotate it on the x axis right we we'll do r and then we hit 45 to rotate it 45 degrees on the x axis we we'll duplicate let's duplicate this once again shift d and then r and then we we'll rotate it 40 so you we'll do sorry let's we'll do shift yeah Here we are going to create um I'm going to duplicate this to, and then we we'll use it to create our handle so we we'll do shift d and then we we'll do r x 45 and then we we'll do shift d once again of this one then we we'll do r and then x and then 45 again and then we we'll duplicate this one one more time shift d then we we'll do r x and then 45 so that we have this um nice shape going on for us so we can select this and we we'll do g z to bring it out a bit like this okay so once we have our handle set and we are we are good with it we can select all of them by holding shift like this since all of them is just going to be um one color so we can do ctrl j and then we can merge all of them together as one but before i go ahead i think i created two duplicates here as you can see there's a little bit of glitch here so let me do ctrl z to undo and then select this and then i'll hit x to delete right so now let's select everything all together once again and then we do ctrl j to merge them again like this right so now let's let's create our little handles here one here and then one here then maybe we can create a little safe thing here as, again, as well so to create our little handles here we are going to do the same thing with it i'll hit shift and then i'll click here to bring our 3d cursor here we'll do ctrl a and then we'll bring up our mesh and then we hit to create a cylinder All right so let's decrease the depth a bit something like this and then maybe increase the radius a bit like this right so it's just going to be a basic um cube a basic cylinder with a little bit of just some extrusions here and there nothing complicated so let's jump into the slice to isolate it 
tab to jump into edit mode and then let's add in let's first add in a bevel at the top and bottom so we do control b then we bevel it at the top and then bottom like this then we hit control r and then we hit we, we create um, a subdivision sorry we create a loop cut in the middle do control b and then we bevel our loop cut to somewhere here right so let's just add another loop cut in the middle and then we bevel it somewhere here okay so that we have two loop cuts here we have this section which is equally same as this section so next what we are going to do is um, make sure we have our face select mode active alt click to select this entire face and then alt click to select sorry alt click and then shift alt click to select this entire face once again so we do control e and then we hit extrude along normals so we extrude it inside one and then two so we have something like this going on for us let me hit slash to jump out of edit mode once again and then we can add shade smooth and then add in a subdivision surface to create this nice door handle here probably we can add a few loop cuts here just to tighten up this shape right so next what we are going to do is just to create a duplicate of this you can do shift d right click and then create a duplicate and then bring it somewhere here to make this even um, more interesting we can hit s and then z and then make it a bit smaller just to create some variations here and there All right so we have something like this and just bring it uh, down like this so let's select all these two then we hit shift d to create a duplicate then we can bring it to the bottom like this All right we can rotate it on the x axis so we rotate it on the x axis 180 so that the smaller ones are inside and then the bigger ones are outside All right so we are done with this section next let's create some a little knob thing here just to add in more interest we hit shift and then we click on the side to bring our 3d cursor somewhere here Control a same drill let's add in our cylinder let's rotate it on the y axis 90 degrees and then let's scale it up like this and then s okay something like this is fine okay so now let's isolate it one more time then jump into edit mode and then let's add in few details here and there okay so now what we are going to do is select a tray to go to our face light mode and then select this face then i to extrude it inside like this and then we can hit e to extrude it out like this right and then we can s to scale it down somewhere here then i to extrude inner e to extrude it inside like this right so we can do the same m i to extrude it inside and then we can do e to bring it down s to scale it down like this now we have something like this going on let's add in a subdivision surface so we have this and let's add in few loop cuts here and there to tighten up our form a bit right click and then let's shade it smooth so this side you can see it's creating some pinching here and there you can just face select mode select this side and then you can do i extrude it one more time make it smaller and then our pinching is gone so let's hit slash to bring up to bring back everything here so now we are done with our we are done with our, our modeling of our vault next let's move on to modeling the coin before we continue let's do some basic cleaning here and there so we select this 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 and then select all the elements then we hit m and we create a new collection and then let's call it a door right so this will make it easy for us to hide and then show our collection easily so now let's hide the door for a second 
then we have this then we can hide our vault for a second again so next let's do m um, shift a and then let's add in a cylinder this is what we are going to use to create our coin let's do s to scale it up a bit like this and then s z scale it down on the z axis like this so i think it's fine let's tab into edit mode with our coin selected shift then select this side then we do control b to add in a bevel one at the top and then one at the bottom so let's jump out of edit mode control a and let's apply our skill right so now let's make sure we have our face select mode active hold select this face then hold shift and then select the face at the bottom yeah so let's do i to insert and then we can do e sorry we can do e we can do alt e to extrude faces along normal so that we extrude it inside like this right i'm just creating um, a basic coin you can obviously play around with it and then create whatever coin you want any style you want and then maybe you can do i again to bring it down like this right click right right and then we shade it smooth and then we add our subdivision surface that we have this um cool coin going on for us you can take a lot more time to um fledge out your coin i'm not going to do that in this tutorial it's already um long so add one loop cut here and control r then we add in loop cut here right so we have our coin um, our simple coin created let's hit slash let's bring up our vault so that we see our coin in proportion to the vault yeah so with our coin created let's add in an array modifier to create a lot of stacks of our coin so let's print money so let's do g and let's bring it somewhere here then here as well okay so let's create a lot more coins inside using our array modifier so i'll go back to our mod modifier tab and I'll add in an array of coin so let's just hit on wireframe g and then i'll bring it back like this a bit okay so that we can see what we are doing so let's go to our so first let me just hide our vault for a second and let's focus on our coin okay so first we are going to create account on the x axis right so let's just create um i think for four stacks is fine and then we can increase the spacing a bit by holding shifts and then increasing dragging on this to increase the x factor a bit like this okay so next let's add in another array modifier but now we are going to play with the z factor instead of the x factor so we're going to make the x factor zero and then the z factor we are going to make it one right so that we have it stacked on top of the first one and then now we can increase just our coins stack a bit so let's just unhide our vault so that we see how far our coin is going right so we have something like this basically so next what we are going to do is add in another array modifier so let's go to array and then we add in another array modifier but this time we are going to play with the with the y factor so make sure the x zero and then y factor we make it one right so we can add about four stack of coins like this right and this for the x factor let me increase it a bit so that we have few, a, a bit of space in here and then we can do the same for the last one so that we have a bit of space in inside like this okay so the ones we are done with our array without duplication let's just hide this vault once again we are going to um, apply all of these modifiers so we select apply right and then we jump into edit mode select everything and then we hit on p 
and then we are going to separate it by loose parts okay so we are going to create each cylinder is going to each coin is going to be an individual part so we hit p and then we hit on separate by loose part so once we create it it's going to create a lot of cylinder for us so what we have to do next is basically hit m jump out of edit mode once again and then we hit m and then we create a new collection and then we call it coins for now okay so next we are going to make sure all of them so now if you select any individual coin you can see that its um, origin point is set here right so we are going to make sure all of the coins have the same each of the coins have their origin point this yellow dot set to center so to do that let's select everything once again then we go to object then we go to set origin then we go to origin um to geometry so once we click you can see each of the coins have their origin set origin points set to the right place since once we are done next let's make sure all of these coins share the same data so that we save memory and space and so we fasten we make our simulation more faster later so to do that we are going to go to object we are going to select everything then hold hold shift to select this last object here and then we jump into object mode and then we go to link data transfer and then we go to link object data so once we click on it now if i go to tab and then i try and edit this simple coin all of these will, will be edited as well so if i select one shape here i'll do z to move it as you can see all of the coins are moving as well so what it means is all of these coins are sharing the same object data so next let's quickly switch gs and animate start with animation and the cool stuff right so let me unhide my door and then unhide our vault again okay so let's jump out of edit mode and then let's focus on animating our door okay so to start with the animation we are going to parent let's first parent the, this handle and then this to the door so we select this and then we select this one and then we select the door as the last object and we do control p and then parent and then we do object keep transform okay so now if we rotate this door this and then this are going to be rotated as well so if you hit r and then x wherever we rotate this door these two are going to be rotated as well okay so to continue as you can see we have the origin point of our door set somewhere here in the middle so first let's change that before we even continue so we select our door and then object set origin to geometry just to bring this origin to the middle of our door okay so next let's animate the opening and closing of our door to do that we are going to use empty to drive the animation so let's hit on x to go to our, our right photographic view and then let's hit on shift and then right click to bring our case right somewhere here let's do shift a and let's add in an empty so we're going to add in a plane axis like this so right here at this point and then we can rename the empty into door control I like guess so what we have to do next is to select this door panel here and then hold shift and then select this empty and then hit ctrl p and then we parent it to this object so now if we do r if you select this door control empty and then we do r and then z we'll be able to animate open and close animation using this plane axis right so before we add in keyframes to this let's first animate the opening and closing of this handle so at this as frame zero with the handle like this we hit i and then we insert a keyframe rotation right now we'll bring it to somewhere at frame 40 then we do r and then x we are going to rotate it on the x axis something like this 
and then we do i and then we insert another rotation here so now if we go back to frame zero and then we play an our animation this is what we have here so we have yeah we have a cool um animation rotation animation so next let's animate our door opening so our door opening is going to start from let's say frame 10 now let's start from frame 0 so we do from at 0 we do i then we insert a uh, rotation and then at frame 60 we do r and then z we open our door up like this and then we do i and then we insert rotation keyframe here once again so now we have this if we play we have this animation going for us which is cool so next let's focus on creating a simulation of our crane and falling out of the the vault once the door is opened so to do that we are going to use simulation we are going to do use, use rigid body simulation so let's set up our scene so first what we have to do is do shift a and then mesh then let's add in a plane let me go back and then let's make sure we have our 3d case set to center so we do shift s and then get that to um, world origin and then we do shift a then we add in a plane at the bottom let's do s to scale it up like this then g and bring it down on the x axis somewhere here something like this for our plane and then we can hold go into our edit mode select this side and then we do z we do extrude on the z axis we extrude it up on the z axis select this edge ctrl b to create a bevel and then add in some loop cuts to create this nice backdrop we shade it smooth for our animation okay so next and we need to bring it down so next let's set up our scene for our simulation so first we are going to start with this vault so let's hide the door for a second and then let's select our vault and then we go to our physics tab then we are going to add a rigid body right we are going to make it passive and then that's it so the shape we are going to change it from converse hall to mesh select our coin and then we select objects right then we go to object rigid body and then we do add active to create um active um rigid body to all of our coins right so if we select a single coin you can see that we have active um rigid body applied to it right so let's select everything again and then we can change the shape from converse hall to a cylinder okay so let's go to rigid body and then we do copy from active so that all of our rigid body take the shape of a cylinder now let's go back and then let's play our animation and see what we have so let's hit on play yeah and then this is what we have right so you can see our coin is interacting and then it's pouring down right but it's passing through our, our backdrop to solve that let's select our backdrop and then let's add in a rigid body and then let's make it passive and then let's make sure the shape is selected and then we go to mesh so that we have the actual shape so now if we hit play it's going to pour down then we are going to have our coin pour like this right so it's going to keep pouring till our simulation is done right so we have something like this so let's go back and then let's hide our coins for a second then let's bring our door okay so next 
what we have to do is um so now if we hit play you see what's happening okay it's working fine we are done with our simulation and then animation next let's add in some materials and light and then we can finally render out our scene so i'm going to hold this side drag it to the side to create an extra and um, workspace and i'm going to hit on my camera and i'll hit on this to toggle on my camera view like this I'm going to scroll so i'm going to go with 1080 by 1080 so i'll go to my render view i'll go to my output and then i'll change the x to 1080 right so we have 1080 by 1080 let's hit n to bring this view and then we do camera so we're going to lock camera to view now we have something like this right so let's hit play one more to view our animation right nice so next let's just drag this to bring this up let me hit n So this will be where we preview our camera our lights and other cool stuff so we can hit on t to hide this and then we can select just to hide everything so that we can see our camera from here so next we are going to change this from from shader from um from timeline to the shader editor like this right and then we are going to add our materials here so let's change from object to well so let's bring in an hdri so to do that make sure you have this background selected then you hit ctrl plus t then it's going to create an environment node mapping node and then a texture coordinate right we are going to hit on new sorry we are going to hit on open and then so now let's add in an hdri to do that we are going to hit on open to open and then we locate our hdri you can get a lot of them from hdri haven of course this is where i got mine just select my hdri then i'll hit on open image to add in our hdri but to see what's going on first let's go to our render view and let's change it from cycles to from ev to cycles then let's change from device to gpu compute and then let's hit on this icon here to render our image so this is what we have now this is what we have for now so this is what the hdri is doing it's adding in some lights for our shader as you can see okay i think something is wrong our subdivision is not showing up inside our rendered view so let's go here and then let's just yeah so it's solved now so we have our subdivision and um, showing up in our rendered view so now let's hit on play yeah so that's what we have so next what i'm going to do is decrease the strength to let's say something like 0.3 then we are going to add in our own light sources but before we continue let's select this let's change here to object and then let's add in some few materials here and there so let's select our background and then we hit on new then we change the base color to something like this for the start then let's select our main our main vault and then let's make it metallic then let's change the color to wish like this and then we can increase the roughness a bit like this so now we have this cool metallic surface right so let's just drag here to add in a new workspace and then let's change it to the shader edit, to the um, timeline so that we can bring our timeline back like this and then let's select all these let's just select one and then create a new material for it we're going to make it metallic and then let's change the color to something like this increase the roughness and then let's select hold shift 
click and then select all of them like this make sure we have this as the active object then we do control l and then we link material so that all of them will share the same material let's do the same for this one so we select this select this control l and then we link material so that all of them share the same material so now if we change this material all of them are going to change at the same time like this so now we have um a material setup let's finish up with our gold coin so let's just select any one of the coins and then new and then we change the color to gold let's make it metallic and then let's decrease the roughness a bit like this right so since all of them share the same object data one edit will be applied to all of them as well so now we have we are done let's play our simulation once again then you can see our simulation working very nice so now let's make some few changes so that we have even a smoother um, animation so let's select this backdrop and let's make sure we set the friction to one and then let's decrease the margin for sensitivity let's bring it down to let's say point one and let's play our animation again all right so now let's go back and then i think that's it for for animation now we can prepare our file for final final render but to um, prepare a file for final render we can add in a few more lights here and there just to brighten up our light source so let's go to our world view and then let's our strength is set to 0.3 so now and do shift a and then let's add in a new area light let's do g z and bring it up like this then we can hit s to scale it up go to our light settings and then let's increase it to, let's say thousand thousand is too much so let's just go with 500 let's go with 200 yeah 100 is fine x to scale it up and then we can bring it forward like this on this side then we can turn it here so that we have something like this going on for us we can do shift d to add a duplicate then we can bring it to face this side like this okay so now let's play one, one more let's see what we have yeah i think it's fine so now we can do ctrl s to save our animation and then let's go to our render settings so let's go to our render settings color management you can change it the look to let's say high contrast to add in a little bit of contrast and then here so we can choose to render it as a png sequence where each um, frame will be rendered as a sequence and then we will join it later inside of after effects or we can just um render it as an ff mpeg video so it's going to render all of them as one single video so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to choose this video and then i'll go to my render settings i'll set my mass sample to 100 make sure i have my denoising data turned on and then i will let me come back here uh, sorry come back here and then let's change it to our full file directory so this is folder so i'll bring it to this folder i'll just name it render and then i'll accept and then finally i'll go to render and then i'll do hit on render animation to render our final animation it's my final video as you can see Yeah, let me play it one more let me just put it on the loop so that it keeps on playing yeah so this is the final video as you can see 
um thank you very much for watching see you on the next one there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up so please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video bye peace out